The CEO of NVIDIA recently said that there will be no more need for people to learn programming because with the help of AI, very soon, everyone will be a programmer. You probably recall, uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. This statement sparked a big debate online. So today we are going to do a little deep dive to understand how the recent developments in the AI are going to impact the coding job market. And is AI really going to take all of our jobs? But before we go into it, let's understand what programming is. Think of programming as a language we use to tell computers what to do. Just like languages evolved over the period of time and have become simpler, so has programming. Back in the 1940s, speaking to computers were speaking like hierographics which was super complex language but as languages evolved over the period of time from assembly to c to python things got way easier imagine writing a whole essay in ancient egyptian language versus plain english that's the difference to show you how much programming languages have evolved over the period of time i'm going to show you a simple program written in four different languages program does exactly the same thing across all these languages which is printing numbers from 1 to 10 but you'll see the differences in the syntax and you'll notice how much languages have simplified over the period of time this first one shows the machine code for this program not only is it very verbose very long code but you also have to take into consideration like memory management converting numbers to ASCII code and a lot of other nuances. And in addition to that, the code will change based on what underlying hardware you are using. So depending on the machine, the type of code you're writing will also change. So basically a lot of things to think through, even for writing this very basic program. And now here's the same program written in assembly language. Again, you can see it is very verbose, very long, and you still have to take care of memory management and other details, but still it is slightly better than the machine code. Now, after 30 years of evolution, the programming reached to more sophisticated languages like C and C++. So here you can see the same program written in C++, much neat code, much simpler, easy to understand, and you don't have to really deal with a lot of nuances like memory management. And the best part is that the code remains the same regardless of what machine you are running into. So compilers are intelligent enough that they can take this high level code and translate into machine specific code depending on what hardware you are using. We can see in the 1990s, we got much more sophisticated languages like Python. And here in a simple two lines of code, you can execute the same program. You don't even have to define the variable types. The machine is intelligent enough to infer all that information and translate into hardware level programs. And finally, here is the chat GPT prompt to write exactly the same program with just one line of plain English command. We can see what is the trend here. In the beginning, the programming languages were very verbose. We have to take care of all the nuances and tell it what to do exactly. But now, over the period of time, we can see that the complexity of programming languages have become much easier. And now we can just tell it in plain English what to do and it'll write a code for us. Now, the common interpretation from this trend is that as the code becomes simpler and easier, it'll require fewer engineers to write and manage this code. So does it mean that it'll lead to end of all coding jobs? Should we all panic? Well, hold on, because here is a plot twist. History shows us that as the coding gets easier, the number of coding jobs actually went up. Here is a graph showing programming jobs over the period of time. As you can see that as the coding becomes easier and easier over the period of time, the number of programming jobs went up exponentially. The thing is, as the tech becomes easier, the more we use it on a day-to-day -day basis and the more people we need to build and manage it. Think about it. In the 1950s, 
only mega corporation headquarters had access to computers and they'll only use it for some very sophisticated operations. But nowadays everyone has a smartphone and we are using it in every waking hour. Simplification of tech leads to more penetration of tech in our day-to-day -day lives, which leads to more tech jobs. However, the nature of those tech jobs, that keeps changing with period of time. If you notice a trend in the evolution of programming languages, what you would notice is that each new programming language adds a new level of abstraction to make things easier, which means you don't need to learn and understand all the nuances of writing computer programs. Just like you don't need to be a grammarian to be able to speak English, just like that, you don't have to understand all the code nuances to be able to write programs in the future. Understanding how different pieces of the code work together and debugging if anything goes wrong, that'll still remain a very crucial skill. As AI abstracts away the small logistical stuff of writing code, the future belongs to those who can design complex systems, the architects of the new tech world. Skills like system design, software architecture, and DevOps will be gold in the future. Now, it is a reality that AI will eliminate some of the tech jobs, but on the brighter side, it will be creating many more and better jobs. Every single industry forecast predicts growth in the tech industry much higher than the national average. The tech industry is evolving and those who will adapt will thrive. A very positive side effect of these recent advancements in the AI is that it has made the process of learning new technical skills much easier. I've created a separate video on how you can learn Python with the help of ChatGPT. And previously, if it used to take months, now you can do it in a matter of weeks. You'll find the link for this video somewhere here. Please check it out. I hope you like it. Thank you so much.